Hi, for this video, what I wanted to do is show you how to find a composite function when you're given a graph. So the first one that we're going to find is f of g of negative 2. So basically what this is saying is that what we are going to do first is we're going to look at the part inside. So remember that f of g of negative 2 can also be written this way, f of g of negative 2. And so what this is telling us to do is that we're going to find g of negative 2 on our graph and then look at the output of that. So what is my y coordinate when my g equation is negative 2? So my g equation is the green equation and my f equation is the yellow equation. So what we're going to do is we're going to find g of negative 2 and then we're going to write its output. So g of negative 2, if I find g negative 2, my output is 1. And so f of g of negative 2 is really the same thing as f of 1. So now I'm going to go to my f equation and I'm going to find my output when f is 1 and so my output is 1. And so that would be my final answer. So f of g of negative 2 is 1 because when I go and find g of negative 2 that gives me an output of 1 and then I would go to where my f equation and look for the coordinate for 1. My x coordinate is 1 and then I look for my output. So let's look at another one. So for the second one, what we're going to do is we're going to find g of f of negative 2. So this time it's telling us on our f equation, we want to find f of negative 2. So I'm going to go look at my f equation and I see that f negative 2, my output is 3. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to g of 3 and see what is my output. So if I go to G, that's the screen graph, and I look at 3, my output is 0, and so that would be my final answer. One more, let's look at the last one that we have on here. This one says to find G of F of 1. So what this is telling us to do is we're going to go to my F equation, and we're going to look for an input of 1, so where my X coordinate is 1. So if I go to my f equation where my input is 1, my output is also 1. So this is telling us that we're going to find g of 1. And so then if I go to my graph and I find g where my x coordinate is 1, my output is negative 2. And this would give me my final answer. So if you're given a graph, you're going to start with the first thing, the g of negative 2. Find your x coordinate of negative 2 on your g graph, and then find the output, and then you would go to the other equation and find the corresponding output. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know that as well. And if you get a chance, please subscribe.